We're tracking reports of damage out of the Philippines tonight following a 7.2 magnitude earthquake. King 5's Chris Daniels is live in satellite control with a look at that damage for us. Chris? Yeah, Rob, we've been following this throughout the night on our multiple satellite and social media streams. There have been multiple aftershocks reported at this hour, and Philippine authorities are still trying to figure out the extent of the damage. My Zamora was inside a building at the time of the quake and took this Instagram video immediately after. Our feet are actually shaking because of the strong, very intense. The employee with Federal Way based World Vision was just one of the eyewitnesses. These photos by Robert Michael Poole show a damaged church and buckled streets after the 7.2 quake struck near Cebu City around 9 local time. There are initial reports by the Associated Press of four deaths as a result of the quake, which was centered deep, under land, and not water, hence the lack of an active tsunami threat. But Zamora says the damage is obvious from what she's seen on the ground. So we're seeing debris. Um, it's not that big, but like there are like um, um, glass windows from the fourth floor. So like the, they actually broke it. A couple of notes at this hour. There are unconfirmed reports about the extent of the injuries in the Philippines. And the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center says there is no active tsunami threat to the Hawaiian Islands or the Pacific Western Coast. This is something that we will keep an eye on, though, throughout the night. For now, that's the very latest live from the Satellite Center. Chris Daniels, King 5 News.